Good evening everyone and a happy Sabbath to you all. I pray that despite the rain and the winds you were able to find some love within you this week, some warmth within this within yourself this week that you were able to share with a loved one or a neighbor or somebody close to you. You see, not long ago, while I was on my way to one of my appointments very late at night, I was confronted with the scenery of an accident. As we were driving along, we were asked to slow down our vehicles to a point that we became a standstill. But when we started driving along uh, one more time, I was able to drive along and see the carnage that was ahead of us, ahead of me. And as I looked on, uh, a few thoughts crossed my mind. And one of the thoughts was that while I am on my way to my destination, there is a family who are going to receive a phone call and they will receive the news that a loved one, a father, a mother, a son or a daughter is unfortunately not coming home that night. Maybe they might end up in a hospital or maybe the worst has happened that they might not see them again in this life. You see, that got me thinking while I was on my way. And I think about the many times that I gained the opportunity to say something positive to someone, but I choose to do the negative. The many times that I gained the opportunity to speak to someone, to build something in someone, to say something efficient into somebody's life, something positive, but I choose not to. I choose either to be silent or I choose to say something negative to someone you see sharing something negative about somebody is quite easy to do but building somebody up with love is a very difficult one but it's really remarkable that in matthew chapter 9 verse 35 to 38 that we see that Jesus, actually in 35, that we see Jesus goes around from city to city, from village to village, and Jesus pays attention to each and every soul. Each and every person gets something from Jesus, regardless of how deep one's faith is, how strong one's faith is. The moment they decide to meet Jesus while he's walking around from one city to another, Jesus deliver something positive into their life and that is healing jesus heals the rich and both the poor jesus heals everyone and gives everyone the attention that they need meaning that for him each and every soul is very important when i look at my life i am fixed with the same question and I put the same question to you. When we look within our society, when we look at the various nationalities that we come in contact with, when we look at the various groups who have different mindset, different ways of thinking than ourselves, how do we react to them? Are we able to, are we able to say something positive to them, something positive about them, despite what they do? What are the choices that we make? How do we decide to impact their life? Do we impact their life with something positive or we decide to impact their life with negativity? Do we usher them onto a place where they can receive healing or do we just push them aside, brush them aside and say whatever we feel like to them? You see, on this very day, on this Sabbath day, I want to encourage you, just like as Jesus did, to find something positive to say to somebody, a friend, a loved one, somebody who you've even chosen not to speak to for a long time, I urge you and I challenge you to pick up a telephone, to pick up a pen and write a message, do something and get in contact with that very person that you've decided that you don't want to speak to or you don't want to have it within your vicinity because who knows they might be, today might be the last time that you get to speak to that person. Because they might just be like that family or that person who I encountered while, I, while on my way to work. Brothers and sisters, 
as always, you know the invitation from God is still present and alive for us today. While we are here today, let's make use of it. Let's come to him so that he may give us the rest that we need. Have a lovely Sabbath and have a lovely weekend. And as I always do, I like to pray with you. Kind and loving Father, thanks for giving us this opportunity. And thanks for seeing some importance in me, in my friends, in each and every soul that you have decided to grant us healing. Help us to see positive sense in each and every person. Help us to be able to say something positive into their life so they may grow and heal in positive ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a lovely Sabbath and may God continue to bless you and elevate you to the heights that he wants to put you. God bless until the next time.